Building her career and getting used to her new sense of freedom. A freedom she is so grateful for, she never turns down the opportunity to help others feel the same. When Hurricane Katrina hit her home state of Louisiana, she flew back to help. She got a couple of her friends and they donated clothes and money and she just walked around from cot to cot. She just did it. Just doing it is the way Erica lives her life and has grown her business. The best thing you can know about staying in business is to have courage and to have courage to stay close to your heart and what you want to design and how you want to put it together. As she expands her empire, Erica is humble about what she's accomplished. And she says, well, anyone would have done what I did. That's simply not true. Many people would have just crumbled. Not only did you make a life for yourself, you made a life for your son. And you've made a fantastic business and, and you have a following and you've been a role model for so many women. I don't even know if she's aware of that. Erica's principles for success have stayed as basic and down-to-earth as she is. I didn't think about the hardships. I had a kid to raise, I had a business to do, I had money to collect from the people that owed me money, and I had money to pay out, and I had jewelry to put out, and getting into new stores and developing a product that I didn't have a blueprint on. And no wonder, given her background and journey, who would? I want jewelry that you'll love forever. I want jewelry that you would be proud to pass on to your kids and grandkids and something that'll really last and be remembered.